it does have a little bit more aero and aggressive design than the 720s let me know down in the comments do you like the sv model or the svj model better on facebook marketplace i think somebody was asking right around a hundred thousand dollars for it coming over here guys we do have a dodge demon really really beautiful blue what's going on guys welcome back to the channel for those of you who don't know my name is samson and in today's video we are actually out at carolina exotic car club taking a look at some of the beautiful exotics that they have here now this is a little bit more of a have to know type meet they don't really advertise it on facebook they don't advertise it on any social media platform so you kind of just have to know that it's going on in order for you to actually come out here and make it we do have a bunch of beautiful selections we're gonna go ahead take a look at some of these uh beautiful vehicles and uh you guys this just stay tuned hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video all right luckily we made it over here just in time for the music to stop a little bit so that we don't get copyrighted or both of these are aston martins this is a older aston martin over here this is the newer more revised version aston does have a bunch of different uh, models of course mainly being the dbs's and the vanquishes i'm not entirely sure about the whole aston martin lineup but i do know that they are some absolutely gorgeous cars i believe aston is a british company if i'm not mistaken and this one right here appears to be a vanquish but as you guys may or may not know it normally has some other type of badging that signifies if it's a v8 or v12 um i love the v12 variants of these vanquishes this one right here finished in that beautiful metallic silver with a little bit of carbon right here for the lip buddy and on the inside hopefully you guys can see just beautiful interior same thing with this one right here now i'm not entirely sure what's going on with the center gauge uh cluster on that one the center console but i can tell you guys i know you aren't here but it smells absolutely amazing in here of course you do have this beautiful leather stitched interior nice nice spec on this man and i'm not entirely sure what this is i think this is the new dbs of course it does come in this black aston martin badge beautiful car beautiful car right next to it of course we do have a ferrari 812 super fast now i am trying to set up a review on one of these super fast but i need you guys to let me know down in the comments if you would like to see one we recently did a review on a lamborghini aventador ultima and i loved it thought it was a real nice car of course with the lambos you do get the lambo doors uh, but let me know if you would like to see a review on this super fast see it does have the black and yellow brake calipers absolutely beautiful beautiful paint up here of course we do got the peanut butter interior on this one looks absolutely sick of course you do have the carbon up there for the vents as well and then of course with it being a front engine car you do get a little bit of cargo space in the back as well just looks really really sick we do have a ferrari 488 pista this one right here finished with a bit of a livery you can see you do have the twin turbocharged v8 right there in the back and you get all the carbon trim inside of the engine bay not sure if this for aesthetics only or if it's adding any type of benefit for weight reduction i can imagine if you had a plastic engine cover i don't think it would really weigh that much more than that carbon fiber this is like a it's not a Carolina blue, but this is a very vibrant blue. I hope it, hope it comes across on camera. Really, really beautiful blue. You do get a little bit of carbon right here for the lip as well. And these pieces, I really, really, really love these pieces. And right beside it, we have a regular 488. You can see the difference between the 488 and the 488 piece. A lot more aggressive uh, body work going on with this car. And overall, just a, a more beautiful car in general. But this white on white or white on black, rather, Ferrari 488 still isn't bad on its own. Do get some beautiful seats right here in the center as well as of course that classic ferrari styling then we have the famed 458 and they also have some cars on the inside guys that we're going to take a look at black and the yellow uh combination with the rims and the calipers it's really really nice to see 
Interior is absolutely immaculate. You do get a little bit of carbon right there. And then of course we do have our Porsches GT3, GT3 RS with the Y-Sock package. Of course you do get a carbon wing with the Y-Sock RS bundle. Carbon backed seats. And my boy is a little bold going with the checkerboard pattern. I absolutely love it. Now, of course, with these Porsches, your key is actually goes in on the left side of the steering wheel right there versus on the right side of the steering wheel. I think there's an actual reason why they do that. I guess it's supposed to be quicker for the actual drivers um, whenever they're racing these things. But I absolutely love this, man, with the uh, with the carbon hood, the offensive fenders. I'm not a huge Porsche fan. But these RSs are absolutely lovely. Of course, we do have an older GT3 RS as well. Another Aston. Now, this one is slightly different from the one that we saw down there. A little bit more metallics in the paint. Looks absolutely beautiful. And with these Astons, you do get this wide hip on the back. Of course, beautiful stitching and you can see this one right here also doesn't have that whole contraption going on in the center not sure what that was on the other one that we saw we do have an audi r8 love these audis and a lot of these audi r8s you can actually get for a decently affordable price now now maybe not the new ones but the v8 variants the newer ones you can get for a decent price right around 60 to eighty thousand dollars not bad deal at all for a v10 engine very 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 beautiful car this one right here does have the uh wider fender uh flare right here where the intake is this looks absolutely beautiful and i love these audis whenever you can get a little bit of a wing on the back a lot of them don't come with the wing on the back but this right here is a beautiful spec a little bit of carbon right here for the front lip then of course we do have a tt 5v i believe another bmw this one right here finished in that green beautiful beautiful spec i don't think i've ever seen a paint code like this this is a beautiful paint on this bmw of course it does come with some very very beautiful rims i love these the stock rims on these bmws we do have a z51 vet on this side my boy looks like his canard is coming off down there the more featured cars we do have this 488 pista again now we actually saw this one at the auto expo it's got a bit more pearl in the paint than most of them this blue carbon down here is beautiful my boy right here is moving That sounds you can still hear them that sounds amazing um back to this 488 pista love the color scheme on it it's sort of navy blue pearl white and then of course we do have a mclaren this might be a 765 lt if i'm not mistaken it does have a little bit more aero and aggressive design than the 720s and the paint code on it absolutely beautiful spec and actually you can see it right there it does say 765 lt so um trying to come trying to get a little bit more familiar with my mclarens and the different specs on them of course with this one you do have a alcantara interior we have reviewed a mclaren 720s i don't think we've done a 765 lt of course with these mclarens the only downside to them is that you can't see too much of the actual engine bay and of course with that long tail design and the the three sort of tips that stick out the back beautiful beautiful design on it now we do have a ferrari f430 this one right here i'm hoping is a gated manual and i am in luck because it is a gated manual these right here are a little bit more rare than your average 430s. Not a lot of these came in gated manuals. Now, I believe there are some conversion kits that you can get to actually convert your F430 to a gated manual. But then again, I'm not entirely sure. 
But the styling on these is absolutely beautiful. My favorite part of them is probably the rear end. This one right here does come with the uh, carbon steering wheel. And you also get to see that beautiful high revving V8 right there in the back. Of course, we do have a 600 LT, which is just one step up from the 570S with this one right here. You do get 600 LT right there in the headlight cluster. Beautiful style. And of course, the carbon louvers on the fenders. Nice, man. Nice. And this one does have the MSO package, which is McLaren Special Operations. Not sure what's different from this one as compared to some of your other ones. And then, of course, with these 600 LTs, the exhaust does shoot out over the rear wing which is, especially whenever you can get these exhausts pretty hot and you get flames coming up out of the back. Looks really, really cool. So coming around to the actual showroom for this uh, particular, I guess you would call it a more of a consignment center other than a dealer. We're gonna stick with some of the highlights because we got through every car. This video would probably be like 30 minutes long. And plus they do have some copyright music playing. So I'm gonna talk as much as I can throughout this video, but here is probably my favorite car out of the whole bunch. We do have a AMG GTR, of course, Mercedes-Benz model. And I am absolutely in love with these cars, guys. It's gonna be hard for me to actually get you guys to see just how wide this car is. Like it just has so much presence. The hood on it is extremely long. Like the hood on it is actually half the car. If you look, you do have all of this of the car and then all of that of the rest of it. So it's not that much uh, other than the hood. Of course, with this being uh, the GTR, this engine is actually pushed back behind the front wheels, sort of making this a front mid-engine car. I absolutely am in love with them. You see, they does have the carbon steering wheel. Of course, those beautiful bucket seats right there. And, uh, I mean, guys, these things right here are hard to beat. He also has the, the carbon mirror caps up there as well. Anytime you get the chance to see one of these, always a treat. Of course, we do have a, another Lamborghini Aventador, this one being the SV model. Now, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments, do you like the SV model or the SVJ model better? Me personally, the SV model is, uh, I just like the styling on it a little bit better. I think that the SV models might be a little bit more rare than the actual um, uh, SVJ models as well. Of course, with the SV models, you do get a fixed wing in the back. Beautiful, beautiful styling. I would love to get a review done on one of these. Looks absolutely, absolutely sick. This one right here is a 750-4, so it probably puts out somewhere around 740 horsepower or so. You do get that carbon roof up here as well. I'm hoping I can keep this video to maybe 20 minutes, guys, but it's so many good things in here. We're not gonna go over these. You've got a few vets, a few Porsches, of course, a few more McLarens up there. We do have another Ferrari 812, but this one is a GTS model, I believe, because you do get the top that actually lifts down. Now, if anybody knows anything about these b -Moda, uh motorcycles, leave it down in the comments. This one right here, oh, this one in particular is a for sale, but I did see one of these b -Moda H2 uh, bikes for sale on Facebook Marketplace. I think somebody was asking right around a hundred thousand dollars for it i absolutely love it it looks like you do get that kawasaki h2 engine so i'm sure that it's freaking insanely fast of course you do get that carbon fiber full body this thing just looks sick i've never seen one of these on the road i would love to have the opportunity to see one i'm not even sure if it's street legal of course with this one you do have some extra linkage right here for your front uh, wheel and suspension setup that you don't get on your regular bikes. You do have that beautiful titanium exhaust. Of course, you can see the headers are already bluing. Beautiful wheels around back. Of course, the aluminum frame, it looks like right there, or at least the aluminum uh, subframe, I guess you can call it, that connects to the rear wheel. I believe the actual frame might be carbon fiber, but 
beautiful bike if anybody knows anything about these let me know this one right here old school ducati you can see it does have a dry clutch <laughs> not a big fan of the dry clutches because it sounds like the bike is broken but not a nice bike nonetheless another bit motor this one right here says it's the kb4 model not entirely familiar with these again but i do love the red wheels with the rest of this paint scheme coming over here guys we do have a dodge demon the crazy thing is a lot of people are really on the whole demon 170 wave i love the 2018 demon of course you do get one of the main differences that you get is that uh that wide body in the front as well as the back with the new 170 you only get it in the back with the 2018 model i absolutely love the fact that you also get it in the front looks insane of course you do get this massive hood right here this massive hood vent i believe this is still the biggest uh intake uh hood vent that you get on any production car looks absolutely beautiful this one right here does come with the regular demon badge finished in red for this one absolutely beautiful and i will let you guys get a quick look at the back before we swing around and actually check out this camaro yanko sc now this one right here is another one of those specialty cars this is built by yanko on the camaro chassis looks absolutely beautiful i wish that i got the chance to actually see one of these out on the street you do get 1150 horsepower with this beautifully specced camaro absolutely love it now i don't think you get any differences on the interior as you get on the exterior or exterior rather with all the extra uh, aero and the extra little cosmetic stuff but nevertheless still a beautiful beautiful spec taking a quick look at some of the more rare cars to see we do have a boss 302 now you don't see too many of these uh boss 302s from this mustang model year at least i haven't seen any the only one that i believe i may have seen is this one the only one that i've seen in person is this one at least that i can remember we did come across an older boss 302 at the auto expo but this one right here is absolutely absolutely beautiful with that black and red spec on it then of course we do have a camaro ss right here finished in all black with a little bit of gray and chrome for the wheels which is a nice touch we also have a c2 corvette absolutely love these you can see this particular c2 does come with the side exit exhaust beautiful sort of gentleman spec on it and i know a lot of you guys have probably already seen it we're not going to miss it guys we do have the famed charger rt now i'm not entirely sure if this is a 69 model or if it is a 70 model 71 model but nevertheless seeing these charger rts is always a pleasure right next to a beautiful chevy nova um but it's hard to take your eyes off of these it really is they're just absolutely beautiful cars one more car of note more so for comparison is the audi r8 now this one right here is the v8 variant that i was telling you guys about earlier this one right here is not the v10 so this one's going to be a little bit cheaper and as you can see like i also mentioned you can see this one doesn't get the flared out air vent it's more so flush with the car now, depending on the mileage, the spec, and all that, you can actually get one of these for right around $60,000, 60 to eighty, which is affordable when you talk about supercar levels of status. And real quick, I know we got some copyright music playing, so we're going to try to talk our best through this. We do have one more gated Ferrari right here had to come in here and show you guys this just because these gated ferrari f430s are just so so rare and i think this is an f430 it may be a 360 and it is right next to another f430 right here this one finished in full red and it also has a gated manual trans i just love seeing these gated manual ones so much just because of how rare that they actually are and it's so hard to find them